We're live. Well, good afternoon and welcome to our celebration of our Sunday Mass. Here, I welcome you to Immaculate Conception Parish in Port Perry, to the parishioners here in Port Perry, but also all of those who are joining us for this live stream Mass. Once again, our Mass, especially these next four weeks, will be live streamed at 12 noon and then uploaded on Facebook and also on YouTube. You can watch them at various times that is convenient for you. I will now take my mask off because we do have some people assisting this day. So it's important to have my mask on during the welcome, but we have social distance between us at this day. So now we welcome you to the fourth Sunday of Easter tide. And now our opening hymn. <laughs> the Holy Spirit in the 
Let us pray. Almighty ever living God, lead us to a share in the joys of heaven, so that the humble flock may reach where the brave shepherd has gone before, who lives and reigns in you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. And now the word of God. A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. While Peter and John were speaking to the people about the resurrection of Jesus, the captain of the temple arrested them and placed them in custody. The next day the rulers, elders, and scribes assembled. When they had made the prisoners stand in their midst, they inquired, By what power or by what name do you do this? Then Peter, filled with the Holy Spirit, said to them, Rulers of the people and elders, if we are questioned today because of a good deed done to someone who is sick and are asked how this man has been healed, let it be known to all of you and to all the people of Israel that this man is standing before you in good health by the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, whom you crucified, whom God raised from the dead. This Jesus is the stone that was rejected by you, the builders, it has become the cornerstone. There is salvation in no one else, for there is no other name under heaven given among mortals by which we must be saved. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God.
Beloved, we are God's children now. What we will be has not yet been revealed. What we do know is this, when he is revealed, we will be like him, for we will see him as he is. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. It's 
so their appearance is not so pristine and so clean as we have of Jesus as the Good Shepherd. Instead, their clothing, let alone I may say, my friends say, no, they even do not smell that well as well because again, they're out in the wilderness, not a lot of water. They're managing and taking care of the sheep. And all of a sudden, in the Middle East, because it's out in the wilderness, in the desert, the shepherd actually sleeps in the same head as the sheep. He has to protect them, so he sleeps in a corner surrounded by the sheep. So it's a very different image that we have, and usually what we think of the shepherd, so pristine in look and clothing and so forth. Yet this is the shepherd that Jesus calls himself. This means that Jesus as the shepherd is not afraid of being messy. The mess in our lives that we may get ourselves into, or any messy situation we may have, Jesus as the shepherd goes to that. Because that's the kind of shepherd he is. If there's a mess in our lives or a mess in the world, this kind of shepherd, this kind of shepherd, ventures in the midst of any mess. He does not mind. And that's the kind of shepherd that he chooses to be. Not so pristine, not so perfect, not so clean or smelling. That's the shepherd that the people of the time of Jesus knew the kind of shepherd that he would wish to be. He comes into our mess, in our lives, and in the world. If we follow through on this image of the true shepherd of Jesus being rather messy with us, this also reminds me of one of the most beautiful sentences of Pope Francis. One time he was talking to a priest, and he said to the priest, Fathers, you must go into the world because you have to smell like the sheep. Priest, you must smell like the sheep. Not just stay in the midst of some clean, pristine, sterile environment, but going out into the world and smelling like the world. And of course, it's not just the priests, but all Christians. We go out into the world the smell like the sheep. There is a smell like Jesus the shepherd. Maybe especially in these days that are so challenging. What ministry do we do? What work do we do? How do we act and interact with the world? We do so as shepherds. The shepherd must smell like the sheep. So as we continue our walk with Jesus, the Good Shepherd, keep in mind, please, the real image of a shepherd. That means the truth of Jesus, the shepherd, who is so good. Amen. Now, our three that we now give voice to what we believe in and who we follow, as together we say, I believe in God, the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth, and in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who is conceived by the Holy Spirit, born of the Virgin Mary suffered under Pontius Pilate, was crucified, died, and was buried. He descended into hell. On the third day he rose again from the dead. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of God the Father Almighty. From there he will come to judge the living and the dead. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting. Amen. Our prayer be faithful. On this Good Shepherd Sunday, we come before God and thank Him for the gift of Jesus' His Son, knowing that He hears our every prayer. 
to his response. For all who lead the church, that they may remain faithful to the shepherd's way. Lord, hear our prayer. Lord, hear our prayer. For Pope Francis, chief shepherd of the church, for his safety, his message, and for his loving guidance, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the lost and forgotten ones of this world, that they may experience in our concern the care and refreshment of Jesus, the Good Shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For our young people, that they may always remain close to Christ, their Shepherd, we pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Let us pray for all who are sick. May they call upon the name of Jesus and receive the comfort of his healing and reviving spirit. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the faithfully departed, that they shall dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of their lives. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. For the intentions of the church and for our own personal intentions that we offer in silence this Easter time. That God, through his holy mass, may hear and answer our prayers. We pray to the Lord. Lord, hear our prayer. Heavenly Father, as we journey through life, help us to hear your voice, obey your command, and follow in your footsteps forever and ever. Amen. The preparation of the gifts are offertory again.
through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to obey you, O Lord, but in this Easter season, to laud you yet more gloriously, when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. Through him, the children of light rise to eternal life, and the halls of the heavenly kingdom are thrown open to the faithful. For his death is a ransom from death, and his rising the life of all his risen. Therefore overcome with possible joy, every land and make people exalt in your praise, and even the heavenly powers, with the angelic hosts, sing together the pledging him of your glory.
through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Now in the Savior's command, and for my divine teaching, we dare to pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who have said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant your peace and unity in accordance with your will. You live and reign forever and ever. Amen. May the peace of the Lord be with you. We pause for a moment, praying for the peace of Christ, for those who are near to us, for those who may be far away. Pray for the peace of Christ. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold Him. He came to take away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you shall enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be for those joining us with the gift of technology, please now join in our prayer of spiritual communion. And through this prayer of spiritual communion, you receive the graces of this Mass. Please repeat after myself. Jesus, my Lord, my God, and my all. Jesus, my Lord, my God, and my all. You are truly my good shepherd. You are truly my good shepherd. Although I cannot receive thee this day, although I cannot receive thee this day, I offer my spiritual communion. Amen. I offer my spiritual communion.
Let us pray. Look upon your flock, kind shepherd, and be pleased to settle in eternal pastures the sheep you have redeemed by the precious blood of your Son, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. I'll first give our parish announcement for the sake of the parishioners of Immaculate Conception, the final blessing, and then our recessional hymn. First, our announcement. You will see both online your parish bulletin for details, and actually this week's bulletin I'd like to post them also on our Facebook channel. In two weeks' time, on May the 8th, Saturday, our parish begins devotions to our Lady of Perpetual Health. If you wish to email me any of your prayer petitions, I encourage you to do so. And then on that Saturday morning after our communion service, we will be praying for devotions to our Blessed Mother. This coming Saturday is May 1st, the feast day of St. Joseph the Worker. As you may know, we are presently in the year of St. Joseph with two major feast days, March 19, St. Joseph's Feast, and May 1st. St. Joseph the Worker. Therefore, on Saturday, you may receive a full indulgence from the Church of Jesus. You simply offer a prayer or an action in the name of St. Joseph, and then from your own heart, your spiritual communion, and thus fulfill in this year, St. Joseph, the full indulgence. Brothers and sisters here in Barbaria, all around our province of Ontario. As you know, our recent recommendations are presently that we are permitted of 10 persons within a church building. Here in the Matthew Conception, we continue with our usual times of uh, Saturday 5, Sunday 9, and 11. But again, only 10 are permitted within the church for these distribution of Holy Communion. There is no public mass, but I came down to distribute communion at these times. If you wish to partake in communion during these times, for the next three weekends, you must contact the office. We had a full church this morning, full 10 people this morning. So in order to accept some other times, not only 9 o'clock, but we're having 9.30. You must contact us so we know there's only 10 that are available in the church. I am here for you. And goodness knows these days, I never leave 1710 Scoopbox Street. I'm always, always here. So we can distribute Holy Communion many times. Uh, let alone again, as you know, this past year, with a spiritual communion, spiritual communion, you receive the grace of this past and the obligation to spend from the cardinal you have received on this day. But as we say, be safe, be kind, and be patient. And thank all those who participated and assisted in our Mass on board today. Usually it's me, myself, and I, running around doing everything. So certainly we'd like to thank all the flock, the little flock we have here. The very same and God bless and you all. Shalom Salam. In our final 